Join Kids Hat family. Tia! Tia! Hey Tofu! Guess what? I just bought a remote driven car from Hall. What? Why? He said he wanted to sell his car. I said I will buy it. He gave me a good deal on it too. Have you ever seen this car, Tofu? No. But what could be wrong? Well, nothing. But it is always nice to know what you are getting into. Oh, you worry too much, dear. Maybe. But the hungry fox learned the other way. What do you mean? The hungry fox stuck in the tree hole. Once upon a time, a hungry fox roamed in the forest. He was very hungry and there was no food to be found. There is no food anywhere today. I shall go to the outskirts of the forest where the village starts and see if there is something to eat there. The fox walked to the edge of the forest and entered the village area. There he found a big tree with a hole in its trunk. Curious, he looked into the hole. Wow, there's food in there. Bread, fresh jam, fruits. The food had been stored by a villager who was farming nearby. The fox quickly jumped into the hole in the tree trunk and ate everything that the farmer had kept there. That was a good meal. My stomach is full now. Uh, but I am thirsty. Time to go and drink some water from the river. The fox got ready to jump out of the tree trunk. But as much as he tried, he couldn't. He was stuck in it. His stomach was now so fat that it got caught in the hole. And he could not come out of it as much as he tried. Oh no! I am stuck. The villager will come back any time and I will be in so much trouble. I wish I had thought a little before eating all that food. I think I am behaving like the fox, Tia. Yes, you've got that right. Giving your actions some thought before you jump in can go a long way in helping you out. You are right. Tomorrow, before I pay Hall for the car, I will request him to show it to me. Good idea. Now please help me refill the watering can. Tia, did you take my school project? Yes, Tofu. I took it to school with me. How can you, Tia? I worked on that project for six weeks. I used all my pocket money to get the supplies for it. It wasn't yours to take. Tofu, can you please calm down? There is a reason that I took it. What could be a good reason to steal my project? Before I tell you that, I need to tell you something else. The Other Side of the Wall 
Once upon a time, a girl loved gardening. She had many beautiful flowering plants in her garden. One day, she went to the market and met a lady selling seeds. These are seeds of a beautiful flowering creeper plant. If you want to plant it near a wall, it will take a support of the wall and grow. Take these, your garden will become even more beautiful. The girl bought the seeds and merrily came home. She planted them by the back wall of her garden. It was a wall that she shared with her neighbour. Her neighbour couldn't walk but they would often talk to each other from behind this wall. I have planted seeds of a lovely new plant. Oh, that's nice. I wish I could someday come and see a beautiful garden. But alas, I cannot move. My own garden has become a dry patch of land as I cannot take care of it. Many months passed and the girl tended to her new creeper plant every day. And with each day, the plant became bigger and bigger. But it didn't flower. Not a single flower grew on it. Frustrated by the only plant that did not give her flowers, she decided to cut it down. She brought her axe and was about to chop the creeper down. Just then, her neighbour called out. Is that you? I have been meaning to talk to you for many weeks. Thank you so much for the lovely flowers. Flowers? Yes, they are beautiful. I feel so happy every time I see them. The girl rushed to the neighbour's house. She saw that the creeper from her garden had pushed through the cracks and holes in her wall and was growing on her neighbour's side of the wall. And it was full of the most beautiful flowers she had ever seen in her life. You didn't submit the project as your own, did you, Tia? You took it for a good cause. Yes. I am glad that you have understood that. I took it because the house on your project kept falling apart. I took it to the carpentry lab and got it fixed. I will get it back tomorrow. Oh dear, you are so nice and I was so horrible to you. I am sorry. It's okay Tofu. Just remember that things may not always be what they seem like. For your favourite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.